Hi everybody. I'm sorry we're late. We had a few technical difficulties, but we are here. Isn't that just always so it is? This was completely on us. Our, our equipment is not working right, so we are scrambling, but we're here. So thank you so much for hopping on. And let me get this up and going. Select a publication. How is everybody? Happy Monday evening. When you hop on, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from, especially if you're new. That's ready to go. Save that. Publish that. And we should be good. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Tammy. Welcome back. You were on yesterday with us. We're glad to have you back again. Hello, hello, hello. We are already five minutes behind, so we are going to get started. We are going to trust that we get 25 people on at one time. So Bill is going to set the chicken timer, and we are going to plan on having a drawing at the very end. In order to get entered into the drawing, you just need to comment and when the timer goes off, the last comment that shows up on Bill's screen is going to get their name written on a ticket and they'll be entered in the drawing. So stick around till the end to see if you've won. So we would appreciate it if you would give our page a heart, if you'd follow our page, if you are willing to sprinkle this video out to your crafty friends, we would certainly appreciate it. Okay, so what we're gonna do tonight well, I guess I should greet some people. Hi, Alana. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Hop on, say hello. I know there's more of you out there. You can't get entered in the drawing if you are if you don't comment. We are going to make a t-shirt tonight. Um, I'm going to, hold on just a second. I forgot to grab something. People have Wait, been asking. I get you on there I know. People off. have been asking me about um, ink, the difference between ink and paste. So I'm going to do a project with ink tonight. So we're just going to do a simple white T-shirt, and I think I probably got this at. I probably got it at Walmart. I don't know. Okay, and I'm going to use my. Hi, Stacy. We are good. I hope you are the same. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for hanging with us. Hello. Hello. Give prayers to Michigan's. Oh, no. Active shooter. I haven't heard. That is no good. Okay, so I'm going to use our ink mat. What it is, it's just a, a flexible plastic mat, and it's sticky. It's a lot like a cricket mat. This is going to do two things for me. It's going, because it's sticky, my t-shirt is going to stick to it. So I don't really have to, I don't have to worry about it shifting or, or, I don't need, and I don't really even have to iron it because this will kind of hold it in place. So we're going to, we're going to try a fun little technique. I tried it last year and it turned out really cute. Hi Fran. Yes, we will be praying for Michigan State. No good, not good. Okay, so I've got my t-shirt adhered to my ink mat. This will also, if the ink um, bleeds through this, this top layer, this will stop it from bleeding onto the very back. So that's what, that's what the ink mat is for. You don't have to have an ink mat. You could use a, a Cricut mat, or you could just use cardboard. You wouldn't, it wouldn't be sticky, but um, it would still prevent the ink from bleeding through. Okay, so we are going to be using ink, different from paste, in that this is meant to be permanent, and it needs to be heat sealed. So I will show you how we will heat seal this and make it permanent and when I'm done this t-shirt will be I'll be able to toss it in the washing machine in the dryer it will come out looking beautiful every time it doesn't crack or peel does ink dry fast on the ink board um, it doesn't dry super fast um, and if there if if you put a lot of ink on and you keep it on the board then the back doesn't get uh, 
it doesn't get a chance to evaporate on the back so usually when you're drying it you want to take it off the ink board so this is what we're going to do this is the transfer we're going to use it's fine i'm fine everything is fine isn't that just screaming out to be a t-shirt but that that just in itself is kind of blah so we're going to jazz it up with some colors now I'm going to be using these colors. I'm going to be using Bumblebee, which is a bright yellow, Couture Coral, which is a pretty pinkish coral color, and Couture Teal, which is a pretty teal color. And then we're also gonna use some black. Okay, so this is, this is my technique. With these colors, we are going to kind of spray on color. So it will kind of maybe look, hopefully, like watercolor. So what I did, is I did this previously because I know we wouldn't have enough time but I have just some little spray bottles and I took a little bit of the ink and I mixed it up with some water so it's very very liquidy and I can spray it out of these spray bottles so I'm gonna mix up the yellow in front of you I'm gonna move this aside just so in case I spill so I'm gonna take my bumblebee yellow ink and I'm just gonna use one of my little, little, what are these, stir sticks. And I'm just going to put a good, pretty good size glob of that ink right there. And let me close this back up. And I'm going to kind of push it down. Now I'm going to mix this with some distilled water. And I have a little measuring cup that has a spout, so that will work good. So I'm going to pour in, and there, I don't have exact measurements, but I'm putting about, I put maybe a tablespoon, a little less than a tablespoon of the paste, maybe a heaping teaspoon of the paste, and maybe that much water, maybe a tad more. And then I'm gonna just put this on, and I'm gonna shake it up. So I have a really, really thin ink, but it will still work. It will still, it will still heat set, and it will still be permanent. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try this, and I'm going to do one thing first. Did you set the timer, Mr. Bill? I haven't heard it go off. Oh, did you, did you set it? Oh, yes, it did. Oh, Emma it did Tammy. go off. Okay, who was it? Tammy. Tammy Tessier. Tessier, Tessier. Is the R silent? Okay, let me get your name down, Tammy. Okay, it got you in the drawing. And I have reset the chicken. Okay, and he's reset the chicken. Okay, so I've got my white shirt, I've got my spray bottles of color, and I'm just going to kind of gently get it started. And if it blobs, that's okay. You kind of need to hold it upright so that it gets, so that that, well, this doesn't want to spray very well, but that's okay. We'll just do it with drops. There we go. You know what? That's kind of thick, so I'm going to shake it a little bit. And... Okay, so I'm not going to overdo this, and this is kind of a mess. Probably should replace that bottle. Always learn a lot from, good, good. That's my goal, is to show you new ideas. Okay. So I've got some, I've got some yellow on here. You can kind of see it, hopefully. And now I'm gonna use some coral. Same thing, and I kind of have to hold the spray bottle. That's a much better spray. I kind of have to hold that spray bottle up so that it the little straw gets in there. Cute, cute, cute. And now we're going to use our teal. You could use any colors you want. Get this started. So 
So this is just very diluted ink. And that's wanting to be globby. That's okay. Some of those globs are going to look good. Okay, and I'm going to go back to doing just a tad bit more yellow. Make sure I don't have it on my fingers. Hey, Caitlin, welcome. Is that your Caitlin? Yep. That's okay, I'm okay, now that's working a little bit. Okay, so now I've got some yellow. So this is kind of, I don't know, not really tie dye ish, but you kind of get that. You kind of get that idea, right? Now I'm going to dry this. So I'm going to get. I'm going to get my dryer, and I'm going to heat set this before I do the design. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to tell you. It used to be that if you wanted to do an ink project and you wanted to and you wanted to do a bunch of colors, you had to buy an entire jar of it because we didn't have we did not have here. We did not have our ink in the uh, the sample size, the paste packet size. We we have been begging corporate to come out with to come out with paints, um, the little mini packets of ink. And guess what? They did. So here's my little supply. So you can get a bunch of different colors. Each little packet is only $3. So you can experiment with a whole bunch of colors and it's not gonna cost an arm and a leg because you don't have to buy the entire jar until you're sure what colors you really wanna be using. Okay. Now, before I heat set this, ideally I would let this dry overnight. And Tammy was, I think it was Tammy that was asking about it drying on the mat. Well, I want to make sure the back of it is dry. So I'm going to release it from the mat. So that I can get, so I can get some air under there. And I'm going to continue drying this. So ideally, I'd let it set overnight and completely dry. But this will work just fine. This isn't super thick because it's very diluted. Got my little background here. And that is feeling pretty dry. So now I'm going to get out my heat pad. Am I missing some people? You ordered the dad bod. Oh, you want to try the, who said that? Denise, awesome. Yes, I like the sample they did with the stripes. That was, that's kind of the same thing, only instead of spraying it on, you actually paint on the diluted paste. Okay. So, Tammy asked about how, how long is ink good in the spray bottle? Well, let me tell you, I made up these two a year ago when I did an Easter shirt and they're still fine. So as long as, that's why I use the distilled water so that there's not a chance for anything to grow in there, no bacteria or mold or anything. And it has lasted a whole year and it's perfectly fine. Is that the timer? That was the time. That was the, the timer. one was Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah, you you Caitlin. win. No, you don't win yet. You're entered. Well, you're entered. Don't be, uh, don't be oh making goodness. promises your checkbook can't keep. Caitlin, Mary, um, awesome, you are in our drawing. Okay, so this is mostly oh, dry. I would give one to Caitlin. You would. You would. I would, okay. I would buy it for her. And next, I'm going to use parchment paper to cover this up, and I'm covering it up to protect my, my uh, easy press. You can do this with an easy press, you can do this with a heat press, you can do this with a household iron. Okay. I'm going to use my easy press and I'm setting it for, and I just unplugged it. Denise says the buffalo check might be good too. Ooh, yes, yeah, that would. would. Okay. You know how I like my plaids. Okay. okay. So I've got my easy press, it's set at 350 degrees. And I'm going to set it for 30 seconds. 
and that's going to heat set it. So I put the parchment paper under it because if that, if that ink is not completely dry, it can adhere to the bottom of my um, easy press and I don't want that to happen. Somebody, somebody. Oh, she yeah. was giving me a hard time. We'll go shopping and you bring the checkbook and she got auto mail from, she your, got something. from your bot. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up moving this a couple of times because this is only a nine by nine. So I'm gonna just kind of move it around another 30 seconds and that's going to heat set this background. If you don't have one of these, don't go out and get one just to do this. You can use a regular household iron. You would set it, you don't use any water in it, no steam at all, but you set it at about uh, medium to high, not completely screaming hot, but medium to high and you just take that iron still with the parchment paper but you make with the household iron you keep it moving and the reason why you keep it moving is a household iron has those little holes in the bottom plate for the steam to escape and if you don't move it you're going to press in those little holes in your fabric and it's not going to you're not going to be able to get those out. So with a household iron that has steam holes, you want to keep it moving. You want to do it for about four minutes. Okay, maybe, maybe I got a check. Maybe you got a check. I think I'm, oh, when you go shopping, I get it. But I'm fine. Okay. So I'm just moving this around a couple of places till I get that whole thing heat set. Now you can tell when it's heat set, when it cools down enough that you can touch it, it's no longer tacky or sticky. Okay, It's just smooth and dry. If it's not, then you want to give it a little bit more heat. Okay, and let's do another 30 seconds. This is going to be cute. This is going to be cute. It looks splatter painted because that's what it is. Oh, you got the bot message. <laughs> you can ignore it. Sorry. I try to come up with keywords that nobody's going to use, but it doesn't, work it doesn't always time. work. I don't even know what set that off. Check uh, book. Oh I, oh, I wonder if it was lookbook. It said book. Maybe it thinks it was lookbook. Okay, last one, and then we will put our ink mat back in it, and we will chalk on our design, and if I have enough time, I'm going to do something a little bit extra, because I saw somebody do this. Does the ink feel crispy or smooth? It feels smooth. It does not. You can stretch the fabric, and it doesn't uh, break apart like normal screen printing stuff or... Um, even like Cricut vinyl, you can't really stretch the fabric. You can stretch this fabric and it stretches the design with it. It's just, it's awesome. It's just awesome. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And so here's, here is, here so far, here's my it looks background. looks like a mess. It looks like a mess? Yeah. Thank you. I accomplished my goal. Okay, I'm going to stick the ink mat back in. So if you are interested in trying ink, I have a, um, uh, what's it called? I have a cart link set up. You can type the word supplies and you will get my link. And you can you can take a look at pricing, and you can okay, see if it's something was, you want to order. That was a ringy ding ding. Okay, who and was it? Was it? Nancy Sue. Nancy Sue. I know you. Hang on till the end. You have to be present to win. Okay, so I've got the so ink map. She did not say pregnant. I did not say pregnant. You do not have to be pregnant to win. Okay, so here is my shirt again here is my transfer ordinarily I would fuzz this because it's very sticky and I'd fuzz it so that it wasn't um, overly sticky but I'm putting it on fabric so that's the same thing as fuzzing it so fuzzing it won't do anything so I don't fuzz it when I put it on fabric 
And there's, if you're, if you're buying um, current designs, there'll be a little black sticker on some of our transfers to let you know that on accident, the slug line, where it has the, the name of the transfer and the copyright information, that accidentally got printed in screen. So if you go over that with paste, it's going to transfer onto your surface. So if, if you don't think you can avoid it, you might want to cover that up with some tape, some tape or anything. Tape, tape or, or Christina painter's wants tape. To know what are we doing? We are making a t-shirt. We just kind of splatter painted it with diluted ink. And let's see, is that about even? Not quite. And now we are going to put on, it's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. Uh, Jimmy wants to know, is ink harder to clean from the stencil? No, in fact, I think it's easier. I think the ink cleans up a lot easier than the paste does. Not that the paste is difficult. Okay, so I'm pushing it down, making sure that's all adhered. Because I don't, I want to minimize any amount of bleeding. So I want to make sure all the sticky parts are adhered. And for this, I'm going to use black ink. Now, when I'm doing a fabric t shirt with ink, I don't go in all different directions when I paste it on. I just go in one direction, and that helps minimize any bleeding that might happen. A certain amount of bleeding is inevitable but if you if you do it right it looks just great so i'm going to take a little bit of that ink put it on my squeegee again i'm going to avoid this slug line and i'm going to try to remember to go all in the same direction covering that screen Now, don't push too hard because that can cause that can cause bleeding. Also, if you're pushing the ink through it, you just kind of slide it on like you're buttering toast. Easy does it. Put a nice layer through there. And then I'm going to scrape off the excess, put it back in my jar, because okay, I can use that again. Now I'm going to check my fingers that I don't have any ink on my fingers, because if I get ink somewhere on here where I don't want it, it's, it's going to stay. I can maybe kind of scrub it out, but it's probably going to leave a little stain. So I'm just making sure my fingers are really clean. And I'm going to peel this off. Woohoo! It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I'm going to put this down on a drying mat and I'm going to spray it with water just to keep that paste, that the ink damp because it's easier to clean when it's damp and I'm going to set that aside and here we go look at that looky looky it's fine I'm fine everything is fine do I have time I'm going to do one other thing I saw somebody use part of a transfer and put something on the sleeves and so I'm going to take I'm going to take part of this transfer this isn't in the the cart link I'm going to use part of this transfer, this is the chick in, and I'm going to use this little thing that says blessed, and I'm going to chalk blessed on the sleeve. Real quick. I think I have enough time. So I don't, I'm going to just cut around that section. Oh, you didn't set the timer? If, no, I said it. Oh. It went off. No, I didn't I hear it. I was typing you out a note. Okay. You look, um, 
Uh, well, it was it was Tammy again. Okay. Well, we've already got Tammy in there. So who was who was before well, Tammy? Alana. Alana. Alana Hendricks. Mrs. Hendricks. Jude. Alana. Jude Hendricks. Hang around till the end, because you're entered in our drawing. Okay. I don't. I could cut one of these apart but I'm just going to do this with I'm just going to do this with cardboard just to kind of keep it flat and this is just going to go really quickly and I'm just going to put this chalk this on the sleeve now I don't this isn't sticky so Tell you me have to be careful. They make smaller mats um they make okay this is the 18 by 18 they also make a 11 by 24, so it's a, a long skinny one, and you can cut them up. Let me make sure this is in the center. You can cut them up to make them any size you want. I don't like to cut up my 18 by 18 because it fits the pillowcases perfectly. Okay, so I just have blessed on my sleeve. And I'm going to do the same thing, black ink on a squeegee. Just a little something extra. Sometimes you'll have part of your design has some florals or some other things that you could, you could easily use on a sleeve. Trying to be careful, but I need to get that spot. Okay, and scrape off the excess. And I'm gonna close this up, and then you can see I have I have ink. That's gonna make a ginormous mess. So I'm gonna clean that off. So did I, I hope I answered that for you, Tammy? No, they don't. They they make a different size mat. Um, not necessarily smaller, but you can cut them apart and you can use something like a Cricut mat so you could maybe find a generic Cricut mat maybe if you're looking for a different size. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off and there I have blessed on my sleeve and I'm going to spray this okay. and again Ideally, I would let this dry overnight so my ink is good and dry, but I don't have overnight. You don't want to sit here watching ink dry, so I'm just going to use my dryer, and I'm going to get this dried to the touch. That was a ringy-dingy. That was a ringy-dingy? Okay. Denise Wise Cup. Hey, there you go. So stick around to the end. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've learned the hard way. I have lots of little splotches. You just kind of turn them into a butterfly or a ladybug or something. Okay, and I want to make sure this is dry. Now, if this isn't dry, two things can happen. When I go to heat set it, I can, I can accidentally smear it, which you don't want. So you want this dry so that the ink stays in its place for heat setting. And also, if it's not dry, it can transfer either on your parchment paper, and then it's only good for one time. You have to use a clean sheet of parchment paper. Or, heaven forbid, you forgot to use your parchment paper, you can, you can get it stuck on the bottom of your iron. You don't want that. So, let's draw this up. And I'm going to pull this out. So, this one I did with just, a, just, just cardboard. It was a little, little harder because it didn't stick. Back. 
How am I doing? Got a couple of minutes. I'll have time to heat set this. So I'm going to remove this from the ink mat because I don't want to melt it. And I think that is dry enough. So back to my heat mat. Am I missing any questions? Okay. Let me do this sleeve first. Oops, sorry. I just hit the microphone. Hopefully I didn't blast you all out. Okay. I'm trying to get this so it's not, it doesn't go over a seam. There's my list and my parchment paper and 30 seconds on my easy press or four minutes on medium high on a regular iron. And again, you don't have to move this around. It just needs heat. It doesn't need pressure. You don't have to push. Yeah, I like it on the sleeves too. It's something, it's something just a little extra. Who else? More names for the drawing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wait until that's cool to the touch and double check and see if it is dry. If it is heat set well enough. Christina says you have the best ideas. Well, thank you. I, I wish I could say they're all original, but they're not. Okay, so I'm going to put that down right there. Set it for 30 seconds. Four minutes on a household iron again. And I'm going to get a drink. So again, great news. We just came out with nine different colors of ink in paste packets. I can only see half of that, dear. Mm -hmm. I can only see half of that. Thanks. I think I know what you're saying though. That's all right, we'll just, we'll do one. You sprinkled, thank you, Tammy. Okay, so that's 30 seconds, let me check this. So when it's cool to the touch, I'm gonna touch it and if it feels at all sticky or tacky, it's not completely heat set. And this is completely heat set because it, it's nice and, nice and dry. And same thing here, and I'm gonna do one more thing I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to heat set it from the inside out just to make sure the, the back side of the ink is set. So I'll just do that one more time. There's, okay. the, there's the chicken and that was Christina. Christina Herring. Do we have her in there already? I didn't have Hi. her written down. Oh yes I do. Do you? Yeah. Okay. In. Okay, so she's already in. So who was right before Tammy, her? Tammy, Tammy Whiting. Whiting. Okay, got you in there. And boom. So I did front and back just to make sure both sides are pressed. Uh -oh. And uh oh. Are we back? Like we're okay. Okay, and so ta da! It's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine, and it's this blast of color. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me quickly, quickly clean a transfer for you so you can see how easy they are to clean up. I'm gonna completely move this out of the way. So I just put it on this drying ink, uh, dish drying mat, and I'm going to spray it with water. And I'm gonna start with either a paper towel or this is a Swedish dishcloth and I'm going to get this wet and this is going to take that first layer of the ink or paste off this is this is optional but I like to do it because it saves wear and tear on my on my board erasers so someone was asking does the ink clean up I think the ink cleans up even better than paste Okay, so I'm going to get as much of that off as I can. Now I'm going to switch over to my board eraser. 
which is like a magic eraser. These don't have any chemicals and they work great in pulling all of that ink or paste out of the screen and that's my goal. I'm going to have some staining because our inks and pastes are highly pigmented and so they will stain this transfer but as long as I can get that out of the screen it, it doesn't affect its usability. Now the company guarantees that you can get 10 to 12 uses out of a transfer but I happen to know if you clean them up really well take good care of them you can get 20 or more uses out of them so I'm cleaning front and back making sure the screen is clean and when that's done I'm gonna let this air dry the stickiness will return I'm gonna put it back on its backer sheet and store it away for its next use are you noticing okay. any difference between the old stencils and the new ones? I think these clean up easier. They I do. think they clean up easier. Okay, so I think we are ready Linda for our drawing. Like You'd like to try a t-shirt. Well, you can either check out the, the, the cart link I put up, or if you want to reach out to me and let me help you find something, or you, or you welcome to shop on your own. But yes, give ink a try, especially now that it's available in the little packets, so you don't have such a huge investment in using different colors. Okay, so we, I don't think we got to 25, so we are going to do one drawing, and our winner is oh, this person. Tammy Whiting. Tammy Whiting. Are you still here, Tammy? Tammy Whiting. Tammy Whiting. You don't think your name was in the pot? Whiting? I think it says Whiting. Tammy Whiting? The only Tammy No, there was a Tammy Whiting. I think so. I think so. Oh, there it is. Yep. Right there. She sprinkled for us too. Awesome. Tammy, are you still okay. with this? Oh, well, Christina said there she, she did. Is. Yes, oh, yay. Yes. Okay. I will reach out to you and get some information from you, and then I'll be sending you some happy mail. So be looking for your messenger. You don't have to answer it tonight if it's past your bedtime. Not a problem. Um, Christina, I'm sorry. I thought we I I thought we had we didn't have Christina Herring's name in there. So oh, I will. I, she was on my list. You were on my list. Yeah, she, she was on my list. She didn't get a ticket. Maybe you put on. A, anyway, I will make it up to you, Christina. I'll make it up to you. Okay, so here's our project. I'm gonna pose with it. Tag. I don't want to put my nose. Okay. Thanks for watching us on Craft Around the Clock. I think there's one more presenter on tonight. I hope you enjoy it. And follow our page and come watch us again. Talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye-bye.